Good night, people. I need to show you the latest development in my RGB to VGA converter. Look this. Uh, it seems pretty neat. I got rid of the uh, of the breadboard, and now I'm using a a proto board. It's pretty. It's pretty small. The the design is a bunch of of resistors and and one VGA connector. It's got me a an hour an hour to assemble it. Uh, okay, so let's show what I got here. I'm using differential port delta sigma input, uh, and I iterate eight times each pixel, and I get three bit. Uh, ADC. Uh, well, the most important thing is how does look the eight column. It does look amazing, and I would see that I would say that it's even better. <laughs> Can tell you why, but that's my feeling. Looks like it's cleaner. Like it's not uh, hard edges like it was before. Well, as usual, I do my test here, and uh, the screen looks pretty sharp. I got almost no noise. I don't see noise. Uh, let's show you a uh, demo with several colors. Boing demo. Yay! You see here, uh, I'm using uh, a five percent resistor. The guy was charging too much for for one percent. It, it would he wanted me thirty cents per resistor. I said no for three bucks. I would take. I would buy a bunch of two hundreds from China. But you can see here, that's the the DAC. It's uh, it's jitter. It's caused by the the ADC. Uh, the only way to improve would be doing more bits, but it would take much more time if, if the FPG would not run. But you can see there's uh, three levels of different levels of blue, cyan, green, and if I stop the ball with the ball on the top, we can see clear here the levels, white gray like uh, some pinkish here we can see two shades of blue and dark green shades of green uh, since I'm using 8 bits I have 256 colors well you'd say oh the cocoa has 64 but the thing is that I normalize my colors and it depends on how Coco outputs them. I'll never be able to capture all the Coco colors using eight uh, three bits. I would need like a uh, full RGB. See? There is a minor, like a minor. Uh, I wouldn't say, well, we could just call it noise, but it's not, it doesn't disturb you, like, uh, this I would not get, I would not be able to get rid of, because in fact, it's the pixel that's being slightly, you see, slightly blue, slightly dark. Uh, another good demo, again, with Sock Masters, demo. You can see the effects of the digitalization here. Uh, maybe using a trimmer to regulate my register to register ladder, I would maybe get better better uh, values for the digitalization. And also using one percent register would be better as well. 
uh, but it works. Text there. Oh, come on. You see there are two this is I don't know which color was supposed to be this. Black and white. The eight columns are pretty good. And let's show Puyan now. We show Puyan. Why not show in Puyan? Yay! But this is Puyan with Coco 3 colors palette. I should run RGB. Then I run again. Then I got Coco 2 color. Yay! Kind of pink, red, cyan, purple, purplish color. And no oh, kicks. See several colors, and uh, correct colors for for kicks. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.